type 1 diabetic and as a consequence I have been involved with Diabetes UK for a number of years and I am a lay member on Diabetes UK research so there's seven groups um, looking at various aspects of diabetes and I'm part of the group that looks at complications. So as a consequence of that, I have been involved in research in Belfast on ret retinopathy. I've been involved in Lincoln University looking at ambulance attendants at care homes with those who've had a hypo where you, you basically lose control and so and I'm now involved with Liverpool University looking at the nerves in eyes as predicting the consequences of nerves in your legs and feet so I've I've been involved with a number of projects throughout the country. Basically, it was a progress from a Diabetes UK had an event in Stamford Art Centre, and from that, I was invited to um, become the. Um, the lead on diabetes in the South. And from that, um, they researchers established these groups. And I said, yes, I'd like to be involved in that. And consequently, I, I got involved. So I've been doing that for five, six years. And that, that gives, you know, I've gives me a whole range of aspects on the problems with diabetes on the one hand it gets a bit depressing because lo and behold you know what might happen and a lot could happen but on the other hand it gives you hope because there's lots of work being done to improve the situation A, I get a better understanding of my condition, so I get knowledge and I can give a patient's point of view to the, pace, to the research, because researchers look at purely at research, they don't see the individual side. So they may in fact invite people in to do things but they don't get to understand and you can then positively contribute to that research project. With most research, they, research needs funding and the funding schemes usually request for patient participation so therefore they're obligated to do it mm. so then that, that you'll be invited to go mm. then it becomes more interesting one now you've got the patient participation group up and established how much you are utilized is can be variable you can be you know be part of the whole process um certainly regarding the ambulance it was in others it's right now we've got your your signature we won't see you for a considerable period of time so um it depends on the project and it depends on the research group. Yes, be because there's about 5 million people with diabetes 
and every one of those is different. So everybody can contribute with their own contribute with their own condition. So that way you can highlight various aspects of the research. And certainly up to now I've been able to highlight various aspects of the research that hasn't been included. Well, with the diabetes group in, in London, we just come through a process of um, feeding back from various people like myself, um, trying to highlight those specific aspects. Certainly it could be um, how is diabetes affected by other long-term conditions? What one area is I, I'm trying to involve is as diabetes affects virtually every organ of the, of the body, there should be more integration of the various groups of, say, cancer, of um, pancreatic groups, kidneys groups, so we can tr try and combine the research funds in an integrated way. Certainly by, um, you certainly by, once you're involved, you learn from it. You benefit from this process and it also benefits the research groups and the other people that you get involved with. I'll just do it. Do it. Do not be frightened by it. Certainly, once you get involved, you're one of the team. Do not, you know, it's always, oh, I don't want to ask that question because I might feel an idiot. Don't worry about that. The people will understand and they will explain what's going on. Certainly, certainly there's a lot of statistics involved with research. Just ignore it. You know, you'll never understand it. So don't worry. It's the outcomes that are more important than the inputs. Thank you.